everybody happy saturday this is dr lady j here with another life coaching session thank you for sharing my videos thank you for your comments and thank you for your support um i would ask you to share this video as well so today we're going to be talking about don't get caught up and the reason I wanted to do this particular subject is because I get a lot of calls. I talk to a lot of people who are just going through stuff. And sometimes when we get to the bottom of what people are going through, for a lot of people, it's social media. Not the majority of the people that I talk to, but for quite a few people, they are stressed out over social media. And in some ways, I can understand it because when you're trying to build a brand, you're running a business, you're trying to do promotions and marketing, a lot of ways to do it. Well, the way to do it is social media. Um, you know, that that's, listen, that's what it is today. You know, you need to be on social media constantly, um, you know, talking about what you're doing, where you're going, how you're doing it, who you were with, where you're traveling. And people are getting so stressed from having to do that. So I wanted to come on and talk about that today because on the one hand, like I said, I do understand it because I have a business, you know, I'm, I'm building a brand as well, but there are limits to this, everybody. There are limits and you have to allow yourself to have those limitations, to have times when you're not on social media, um, and I, I just want to take a few minutes and talk about that. Um, it is very important to make sure that you get your brand out, to make sure that you reach people. But when I watch social media, a lot of times I'm looking at the levels people go to um, to just get their stuff out there. You know, I see women. I was on social media yesterday on Twitter, as a matter of fact, and I thought I was on Pornhub. You know, it was just... I'm talking about women exposing themselves, pulling their clothes down, shaking everything. And I, it really made me think about the levels that people go to just to get likes. And, it, and you know, this is the thing. People, some people will do anything for a like. Some people will do anything for an emoji. You know, things that are just, they're inanimate. You know, they, it's just, it, it amazes me. And I wanted to come on and talk about it. I want to talk to men and women to let you know that, listen, if something is for you, it's going to happen. You know, it is going to happen. You don't have to get on social media and expose yourself. Ladies, what I saw yesterday was just unreal, you know. And like I said, I thought I was on Pornhub, but I was on Twitter. You know, and I mean, literally pulling their clothes down that I didn't, I, you know, I get uh, censored sometimes and I don't even know what I'm censored for, but to see them being able to expose themselves like that, there's something that I want you to understand about media and I'm learning about it more and more that the media will feed you a lot of negativity. They will feed you all of the things that you don't need to be filled with. There are a lot of people who come on social media who are very positive. I look at their posts, I look at their um, their writings and you know their stories and, and sometimes their videos who are very positive and very uplifting, who get very little traffic because of the algorithms and you know they play with these al algorithms. Understand this, it's not good to be a slave to social media because that's what social media has made people become. We talk about slavery, we talk about, you know, um, being forced to do things, <clears throat> being forced to do things that we didn't want to, that our ancestors did not want to do. We get angry about the way our ancestors were treated, but this is modern day slavery and I want you to understand that because in order for you to, to have a million views, or 2 million views or whatever it is, you have to do certain things. And if you don't do those things, you won't be able to be a part of the trajectory of being able to grow and move forward. And so I wanna to say to people, please stop getting stressed about social media. If you are gonna work that hard, and if you are gonna go all in like that, do that for yourself. You know, work hard on your health. Work hard on being a better person. 
Work hard on your education. Work hard on being with your family and doing a lot of stuff with your family. Those are the things that you should be working hard at. Those are the things that should motivate you. All of these things with social media, let me tell you something. When you are no longer able to post, they'll just go to the next person. And all of the things that you have done are just, you know, they're just out in the wind somewhere. And so I'm on here today and I'm encouraging you not to be a slave, not to be addicted to social media. People are killing themselves because they get on this road of social media where everything is rising up, they're doing really well, and all of a sudden the numbers start dropping down and they don't understand it. But it's a game and you got to learn how to play it. And if you don't follow the game and you're not doing what they want you to do, yeah, your numbers are going to drop. But that doesn't mean you have to kill yourself or you have to give up. So I'm just going here today to encourage people because I was looking at a video yesterday and this guy was saying how he is so stressed. He's so stressed because he feels like every day he, he's under the gun. He's under social media. He has to get a post out. He has to do this. He has to do that. Listen, like I said, if you're going to be that stressed or if you're going to be, if you really want to be into something, be into yourself. Be into the great things that God has for you. I don't, I don't believe that there's anything that you can't have, but it takes time. It's something that you have to work for. It's something that you have to wait for. I talked about waiting yesterday. And so, you know, I'm a firm believer that what God has for you is for you. Whatever God wants to happen for you, it's gonna happen. And some of the things that people are doing on social media, they really don't have to do if they waited for their time. Sometimes it's not your time, you know? You sit back and you wait it out. I know we're in the society of do it now, I need it now, I gotta have it now, but sometimes, it's better to wait and let it play out and maintain your dignity. Have people respect your character and your integrity. Sometimes it's better to wait. So listen, today I just wanted to come on and just say to you, don't be addicted. You know, don't be a slave. Don't get caught up. Because social media, it, it's not a real place. And every time you see people in here smiling and looking good, listen, everybody has problems. We all go to the bathroom like the next person. You know, we got to get up and get ourselves together like the next person. So it's not a real, it's a fairy tale kind of thing. And you got to stop getting caught up. If you want to get caught up in something, get caught up in being a better person. Get caught up in serving and loving others. Get caught up in building a life and a legacy for your children. Get caught up in working on doing a woosah sometimes, where you take a break from social media. You take a break from texting and sending out emojis. You know, if you want to get caught up in something, get caught up and working on you as a person. Get caught up in that. Because when you get caught up in working on you and focusing on you and being a better person and waiting for the good things that are supposed to come to you, you don't worry about social media. You don't worry about if you got a million views or if you got five million views or, or however many, you don't worry about that stuff because you know that because of who you are and because of whose you are, your time is going to come. So my name is Dr. Lady J. Listen, I just wanted to come on and do a short video today and I just want to tell y'all to chill, you know, wait for your time to come and do me a favor and make sure you share this video. Um, empower and inspire somebody else because that's what it's all about everybody 
we're all growing together. So have a blessed day. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Do something great and something special for yourself. And get off of social media. All right? I'm about to get off now. All right, y'all. Have a great day. And I will talk to you tomorrow.